the previous videos, we discussed about the TML Strangish coding system. The coding system here carry a lot of information related to the details and specifications of the Strangish. You will need to first know your purpose of the testing, the applications of the Strangish, for you to decide what type of Strangish are you using. Due to a wide variety in terms of the specifications, you will have to specify it in the proper coding system while order and purchase for the Strangish. You may refer to the catalog of TML Strangish to work out the proper coding of the Strangish that you need for your testing. Should you have further questions, you may refer to your supplier. They should be able to guide you in terms of the suitable shrinkage. There is another thing that you need to know is how to acquire the information from the package of the shrinkage. This is the typical package of the shrinkage. The relevant specifications are given here. A close-up view, it will be this one. This is referring to the type of the string gauge. And this will be the coding system, which we have discussed in our previous video. We have also the log number as well as the batch number. We talk about the meaning of the log number as well as the batch number while we're discussing the terminology used by the TML language. In general, the log number is referring to a group of language having similar characteristics and specifications, making of similar materials as well as the procedures. As for the batch number, it is referring to a group of strangage which are manufactured at different time under identical conditions. The batch number here allows you to trace the origins of the strangage. Theoretically, using strangage to measure strength is very sensitive. It requires a high degree of accuracy as well as reliability. Now, if you are purchasing the product from TML, all this should theoretically be traceable, unless it is the pirated products. Do not use strangage which is not traceable, in terms of the origins as well as the history. Next, we have the test conditions, which is referring to the environment condition that the test data are obtained and then we have the gauge length this one is referring to this length here and then we have the gauge resistance this is referring to the electric resistance of the strangish under free conditions at room temperature unbonded as applied in this case, the gauge resistance is 120 ohm. The accuracy it will be plus minus 0 0.5 ohm. 120 ohm is the most common gauge resistance. There are also 60, 350 and also 1000 ohm. Next, it will be the gauge factor. This is the factor that you use to compute the strength as measured from the variations of the resistance as detected by the strength gauge. The gauge factor is this. It correlates the changes in terms of the resistance against the changes in terms of the strength. Next, we have the thermal compensations as well as the transverse sensitivities. The meaning of those terminology you may refer to the previous videos. In the case that lead wires are provided, 
the relevant details are also given on the package. Next, we look at the data sheet for the TML language. In every packet, there will be a piece of paper providing the test data for the relevant language. The information here should be in line with the information given on the package. And then there will be a curve here allowing you to make corrections in terms of the gauge factor when you are using the stringage at the temperature other than 20 degrees Celsius. Very little variations will be imposed onto the stringage factor if the testing environment has the temperature close to 20 degrees Celsius. However, as the temperature increases, the variations in terms of the gauge factor increases as represented by the dotted line here.